guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I've got another great vegan recipe for you today. It's for potato tacos. But first, we're gonna do a recipe inside the recipe. Inception. Reception. <laughs> this is for the taco seasoning. A lot of times, you go to the store and you'll buy the taco seasoning and it won't be vegan, unfortunately. So I'm going to show you a really simple, mild, great tasting uh, taco seasoning to put together and have on hand. I'm going to do a jar size today that will be for multiple times, but I'll also leave a recipe for just a one-time use in the bottom bar. So let's get started. I've got a clean jar. I already, you already got it labeled and everything. I got it labeled taco seasoning because nothing sucks more than thinking something is something else <laughs> and you put it in and you're like, that's not hot cocoa. <laughs> so let's begin. Uh, first ingredient is chili powder. So I like to buy my spices in bulk at like Sam's Club because it's cheaper and you can get organic ones if they're available. So the first part is a half a cup of chili powder. Don't get upset. <laughs> I know it seems like a lot and the thing doesn't fit in there, so that's cool. But it's going to last for multiple, multiple times. And again, if you put way too much, that's great too. It's not a big deal. All right, so that's a half a cup. <laughs> I got some on the table too. <laughs> now we need two teaspoons of garlic powder. I actually prefer the granulated because I think it just gives more flavor. So that's two teaspoons of the granulated garlic. Well, I'm using granulated garlic. <laughs> that's not gonna fit. <laughs> Wrong one. Yep. And then also two teaspoons of the granulated onion. I have a beautiful um, organic one that I just got here yesterday from Sam's Club, so I'm all set for this. How exciting. Right? Two teaspoons of oregano. You thought I was going to say oregano, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a little bit surprising that there's oregano in uh, taco seasoning? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Might be. It's like a pizza taco. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Four teaspoons of paprika. Where are you, paprika? Step to the front. Ooh, I have this beautiful Hungarian mm. paprika. This also is not going to make my life easy because it only has a little slit that, uh, that the step <laughs> that goes up. Private and personal. It's like the glory hole of paprika. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> now I just forgot how much I put in. Oh well. This We'll call this four. Come out! Alright. A quarter of a cup of cumin. <laughs> that seems like a lot, doesn't it? Alright, well, a quarter of a cup, if you can do your math, is two tablespoons, so this will fit in here, so that's convenient. So that's two. And I like a lot of cumin. Four. And final ingredient, much like final answer on uh, <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire, two tablespoons of sea salt. I actually cut down a little bit on the salt. You might be saying, wow, that seems like a lot of salt, but it was actually more and I made it less. So two tablespoons and I love the Himalayan sea salt because it's so pretty and it's full of minerals. It's not just a pretty face. <laughs> So then you just put the top on. Make sure the top's on before you do this, oh otherwise you're not gonna like it. Shake it up, make sure it's well shooken. Is it shook? <laughs> <laughs> shook af. It is now. <laughs> and there you've got enough seasoning for probably like six to eight times, depending on how many potatoes you use. All right, so what's potato tacos without the potatoes? Whoop. We've got them here. Uh, this is the main ingredient, the star of the show. But in a supporting role, we have some poblano peppers, which I am so freaking obsessed with right now. <laughs> These smell so good. That really does smell good. That smells so awesome. So fresh. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do, first of all... Don't do get that on my face, please. I'm going to spray my pan. I just did a mask last night. Oh, did you? I'm just going to spray this with some olive oil. 
And I love that misto because I could spray the actual potatoes too and it will help the um, taco seasoning stick to the potatoes. But first I'm going to use this handy dandy chopper. I hate to like endorse as seen on TV products because they seem so cheesy, but this one really works and I really like it a lot. Hey, don't be hating. Some of them are good. I know, right? What? Oh. Right. It's a little loud, but it kind of, you know, saves a lot of time in the kitchen. So you just want to chop about two pounds of potatoes. I mean, we're having two pounds tonight. Well, I don't know if we're having all of them, but I'm making two pounds of potatoes tonight. According to your family, what they're going to eat what you want to have leftovers, whatever, you do you. It's so simple too. <laughs> I'm also going to do the peppers in here after I take the seeds out. This one I've already taken the seeds out, so I'm just gonna do it in here as well. up and ready to go. I have my oven preheating to um, 400 degrees. The only two <laughs> ingredients left are the taco seasoning, which I will put on after the juice of one lime. So I'm just going to cut my lime in half. And these things are probably one of the best things that you can use to juice uh, citrus. It's so simple. Whoa! Right? <laughs> Whoa! It makes it so quick and easy and you don't get all of that juice on the cuts on your fingers mm -hmm. and, you know, killing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a lot out of there. You do get a lot out of there and it fits. This is one made for an orange, but these limes are pretty big so they fit in there pretty well. It's not like squirting your eyes. Either. No. So this is two pounds of potatoes. So I'm probably going to use about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons for this much. Um, maybe even a little more. You want to mix it all around because it's the flavor is just going to creep into the potatoes and the peppers are just going it's, to, it's going to be beautiful. So we're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about, I want to say total half an hour. You're going to want to, in the midpoint, take it out and zhuzh it all around so that um, the bottom doesn't get too cooked. You know, so it's even. All right, let's get this bad boy in the oven. Bye! All right, there's the beautiful potatoes out of the oven. They were yes. actually in for 40 minutes. And here Look is the finished that. product. Did you take a picture of that? Yes, I did. Okay, good. All right, it's got uh, rice, the potato mixture, some tomato, some cilantro, some scallion, some tomato, and beautiful yellow sauce. Beautiful. Which we have a recipe for also on this yeah, channel. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that one yet, definitely check it out. It's our cashew cheese uh, substitute sauce. Very versatile. Very delicious, too. We just had some on some popcorn while we were waiting. <laughs> was really good. You guys are weird. I know. I was not involved in that. All right, why don't you shove that in your face? Okay. The best you can. All right. Let me see. Try and get everything. This is all going to fall out. Oh, this is not good. I know. <laughs> yeah. I love cilantro. Me too. It's like whole nother level. Very good. All right then. Guys, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you try it. It's, it's super healthy as well. Make sure you subscribe for more recipes. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, much love.